So these three men, joined in a spectacular adventure, last Saturday morning took their final walk across the earth before leaving it for more than six days. With Borman in the lead, the three astronauts suited up and carrying portable air conditioners, headed for the van which would take them to the launch site for the elevator ride to the top of the 36-story tall Saturn V moon rocket. Here's how it went as we reported it, starting with the voice of Jack King at Mission Control. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are armed. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have, we have lift off. Lift off at 751 AM Eastern Standard Time. Looks good. We have cleared the tower. Oh, there's the rumble in our building. It looks good. It looks like a good flight. It's a beautiful takeoff so far. Building is shaking under us. Our camera platform is shaking. But what a beautiful flight. Man, perhaps on the way to the moon. If all continues to go well. See, we see staging? Uh, an S1C, the first stage cut off. Firm. All engines, all sources show the second stage is burning perfectly. Half hours after that perfect liftoff came the historic decision, go for the moon. And this is how it sounded. Apollo 8, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. Apollo 8, you are go for TLI. Hold it. Roger, understand. We're go for TLI. Go for TLI, translunar injection meaning to fire up the third stage engine to drive the astronauts up to a speed of more than 24,000 miles per hour, break them free of Earth orbit, and send them off to where no man had ever gone, toward the moon. 